Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and we are discussing Red Hat OpenShift in this series. So uh, in previous videos we have, dis we have discussed and I have uh, shown you how to deploy the OpenShift in AWS and Google. And then we discussed the architecture on, of OpenShift, then we discussed how to deploy, build and deploy application. In this video, in the fifth part of the series, we will discuss and I will show you that how to build and deploy application uh, from the GitHub. So our uh, as a Docker file strategy, okay? So our Docker file is inside the GitHub. So um, we will get the Docker file and will um, deploy our application into the OpenShift cluster. So it is our demonstration example. Uh, it is our OpenShift cluster. Inside it, we have created one project uh, with the name movie. Uh, these two applications, P2 and S3, we have already deployed here. So like for these, these are the three microservices, S1, S3, and P2. For our example, S1 and S3, these are written in Java um, as a uh, Spring framework, and P2 is written in Python. So P2 we have already deployed uh, by using the uh, Docker image method strategy. Uh, the S3 we have deployed as the H2I strategy. Now we will um, uh, deploy S1 as the Docker file strategy. So I will explain everything, but let first uh, run the command because the command will take much time. So I am in the CLI, open, uh, my OpenShift cluster CLI uh, inside the movie project. It is the command for creating the application, okay? So um, for this, uh, this is the name of application, okay, S1. And uh, so OC new app, my name, my name is the name of the application. Then uh, here uh, we are uh, giving the uh, URL of our Git. Uh, let me correct this URL here. Uh, so uh, correct URL is this. Okay, name of the application, then uh, uh, URL of the uh, your uh, GitHub uh, um, and uh, via has, you can also mention the develop, uh, you can also mention the branch name, okay? If uh, no branch name is mentioned, then by default, it will take the code from the master. And as part of strategy, you can also mention Docker, but it is, uh, it is again a default one. But if you are using the H2I, then you have to, um, mention the strategy as a source but uh, by default docker is there so you need to mention strategy so i am executing this command now so uh, it, this command will take time okay because it will uh, first get the uh, docker file from there and will start building the application okay so uh, as you can see it has started okay so our build has been started to see the build log uh, we have to uh, run this command log command here so let me okay so it is cloning like okay so it is cloning our uh, github repository and after cloning this this github repository it will start executing okay so our um, uh, our docker file has been started okay so you can see it here let me show you now the step by step okay by the time this build will get complete so this is our example application. Uh, here uh, we have the three microservices. This is the main microservice S1. This microservice will connect to the S3 and P2 and will get JSON data from both of these uh, microservices and then will represent this data inside the console of the S1. Okay, as a as a JSON object again. Okay, so. Um, these two we have already developed and we have also created the route route is for to connect this application from the external network okay but uh, for uh, for internal actually uh, uh, we need not to go uh, the external to connect uh, uh, these services because by going the external network it will take much time okay so we will connect uh, these three the uh, all these three microservices within the internal service network only okay we will not go so we created route to just uh, testing whether our microservices are working or not good okay but uh, for internal connection we will not use the route okay so this is the example okay now i will go inside uh, the code of as one movie catalog service in my github account uh, here you can see our uh, build is uh, still working. Okay, so it it will take. So by the time, let we uh, see our code here. Okay, 
so um, this is uh, my repository okay and we are inside the develop branch and in develop branch here uh, it is my code uh, source code folder is there as i told you it is the spring uh, frameworks and a maven project so uh, pom.xml is here let me first see the docker file okay so it is our docker file uh, which is currently being executing in the open shift okay so it is first uh, uh, taking the maven and from maven then it is executing the maven maven build okay so it is doing the clean and package packaging the application so it will first uh, do all the and will generate the artifacts like jar file okay for this microservice and then once our jar file is ready then uh, we are um, um, then uh, another uh, image we are creating uh, using the uh, open jdk 8 okay and then this is our jar file from the previous step from the maven okay and then this is the important point here okay expose 8081 okay this so now means this application will be listened on the port 8081 we are explicitly showing it here okay uh, in last video and in last example once we build uh, the application using the h2i okay there was uh, nowhere was mentioned the port here on which port application was listening so that application s3 application was listening on the 8083 port okay so that's why we uh, gone back to the service and uh, added the service and later uh, we also added the route okay uh, if you can also go and check my previous video on that uh, but here as we are already mentioning the expose 8081 here so open is open open shift is intelligent enough to understand it and by default now it will create uh, the service on 8081 itself okay not on default 8080 it will create 8081 and once we will create the route so it will um, uh, we use 8081 only okay the target target uh, um a port as a 8081 okay then it is the entry point means the execution of that jar file okay so it's very very simple uh, docker file so one so it is currently uh, uh, okay so uh, as you can see here uh, the maven build is currently going on okay so it, it will take some time so uh, once all the, so now you can see the testing and everything is currently going on. So Maven build um, is running. Okay, once Maven build will finish, then it will uh, start doing the Java things. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the time it will taking time, let we again uh, goes to the our uh, code here. So, um, for more information about the code, uh, let me go inside the source here, uh, main folder, then here, resource. This is our uh, main class here. Okay. Um, it will be our uh, um, route path, so means root path of for accessing this then root path and then we have to uh, give some value here okay then uh, it will uh, run these um, it will uh, come inside this method okay uh, so in this method is uh, connecting to the uh, other uh, services like here it is connecting to the s3 service and here in this part it is connecting to the p2 service okay and uh, um, as we uh, ran uh, let me show you uh, let me go it, it is our console okay open shift console so let me show you the projects here the movie project in which we are currently working on and once we go to the workload then you can see p2 and s3 we have already created it is currently in 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 stage okay it is currently not complete s1 is not complete in behind from cli we are working on it but p2 and s3 is already there okay so if we if we talk about p2 then here this is the p2 information and you can see the route has been created for p2 okay this is the external route okay 
take a notice here which is the external allowed and for s3 also the external allowed is this okay but if we go uh, to the code here uh, we are mentioning the internal service okay not the external allowed so once we are connecting through the internal service so it is the very fast because it is not going through the gateway okay because if you are connecting from the um, from the internet then it will go first to the gateway and then then uh, will uh, come back to the um, uh, calling um, uh, calling service okay but it is not uh, going to the gateway it is, it will internally internally connecting these services okay so this connection would be very fast inside to inside uh, means within uh, microservices okay like uh, as i show you in the in this image so it will be the internal connections only okay here so it will be very fast so let me check whether our uh, code get deployed correctly or so so push is successful here here you can see okay so uh, it has been con uh, so means what is the meaning of push successful it means the image has been created uh, means the docker file has been finished successfully a one image has been created because in the kubernetes and the open shift the image is the main thing which will so a pod will be created with that image okay so image is created and image is pushed into the open shift internal registry and from this internal registry now the deployment will, will happen okay so let me run the oc uh, get pod command to see how many pods are there currently okay so you can see here uh, currently three pods it is showing the running okay okay and other other are completed so for for let's one by one we discuss for p2 okay one pod is running and deployment is completed for p2 for s1 which is our current service uh, the build is completed you can see the deployment is completed you can see and the and this is running okay means our application is running okay in this in this pod okay and for s3 also build is complete dev is complete and okay now let me see the service okay so here you can see uh, three services are there one is uh, p2 then we have s1 and s3 okay so as i show you for s1 it by default it is it take uh, 8081 so open set is uh, intel very intelligent so it's uh, already read from the docker file and created here but for in case of s2i it created uh, by default created for 8080 then by then by manually uh, and by manually editing we added this port here okay you can check my last video uh, let me uh, check the route okay so here you can see uh, s1 route is not there okay p2 is there p3 is there so we have to create the s1 route okay so that so we can access our s1 application from outside network and can show you that how it is working so for creating the route we have to run the command oc expose svc and the name of our application so name of our application is this one okay so route has been created let's see now it is showing that p2 s1 and s3 so all three routes has been created now let me go back to the console and see that everything is fine or not there okay so first we go to the project inside project then go to the workload okay so our this service has been created click on here click on here and then we can see that route has been created now okay so once we click on this route okay then we will go into the path from where uh, it is listening okay so our path is as i so shown you in the uh, the catalog okay it will we have to first give catalog and then uh, we have to pro give the user id okay so uh, here first catalog and let give some user id here okay now okay so uh, it it is uh, getting details from the 
uh, from the um, uh, a, a P2 and uh, S3 uh, services. Okay, like as uh, um, written in the uh, code here. Okay, uh, movie rating it is getting from the S3. Okay, and uh, uh, movie name it is getting from the P2. Okay, so here as you can see. Uh, rating is coming from the S3 and movie name is coming from the um, uh, from the uh, P2. Okay, so uh, so we have deployed all these things. Uh, let I show you uh, some other uh, things here, uh, like the uh, image stream. Okay, so now here you can see P2. For P2, S1, and S3, as I showed you, that it's 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 it took it took either the Docker file, either the uh, source code, or either the Docker image. Okay, like for P2, we get the Docker image. For S3, um, we uh, get the source code, and for S1, we deploying it from the uh, H2I. Okay, so for all these three, it created the image stream. And uh, uh, it's created the image and pushed into the internal image registry. Okay, and from this image only, it is creating the pod. Okay, so uh, for uh, this uh, tutorial, and this this is the end of this example. And now, from the next part of the tutorial, we will uh, dive in more detail and uh, in more camp complex things of the OpenShift. Uh, like creating the database, like creating the volumes inside the OpenShift and how to use them, okay? And uh, the deployment configurations, the build configurations, and then um, the templates, okay? And how to create applications using the templates. And then I will also uh, show you some frameworks like Fabricate, okay? Which discussed in previous videos uh, a little bit, but uh, the full-fledged, use of that framework i will uh, show you in the uh, coming videos okay so uh, that's all for today uh, thanks for uh, watching